Dear subscribers, bros, friends, hi everyone. A year ago I posted a video Battlefield 6, in which I said, that a new Battlefield will be released in 2021, and battles will take place in current days. Now Electronic Arts and DICE have officially confirmed. Together, we are creating a jaw-dropping experience for you to enjoy later in 2021. Two new Battlefield experiences are in development. One for console and PC, another for mobile. The biggest Battlefield development team ever, is working on new Battlefield. Five world-class development studios within Electronic Arts working together. The release of the new Need for Speed from Criterion Games, has been delayed until April 2022, to March 2023, because Criterion Games was sent to help the developer of Battlefield 6. Criterion and DICE Los Angeles are working with DICE from Sweden on shared vision for the game, while the Electronic Arts team in Gothenburg, is taking technology in the game to the next level. Meanwhile, Industrial Toys from Pasadena, California, will take care on the new Battlefield to smartphones and tablets. It will be a standalone game, that is being developed specifically for mobile devices, and has nothing to do with the new Battlefield for PC and consoles. Two day ago, Reddit user under the pseudonym Fi Administrative 666 drew attention to two screenshots published by an unknown forum member back in mid-April. Seems to be from be the debut trailer of the new Battlefield. Insider Tom Henderson confirmed the authenticity of the images in his personal microblog. The events of the video allegedly unfold on the territory of the Tonegashima Space Center, the largest cosmodrome in Japan. According to the insider, waiting for the official news will not be long anyway. The upcoming Battlefield will be announced before the end of May. The new part of the franchise is simply called Battlefield. Its events unfold in the near future, around the 2030s. This will allow developers to implement in the game weapons, that currently exist only in the form of prototypes. In the sixth numbered part of the DICE series, maps for battles involving 128 or more people will be implemented, and also large-scale destruction, users will be able to destroy even high-rise buildings, Battle Royale and Battle Pass. So far, there is no exact information about the single-player company. Insider Tom Henderson published on March 29, 2021 about a revolutionary campaign, compared to other previous installments. But he later denied it. Therefore, I will refrain from comment until more is clear. A few days ago, VentureBeat hosted a video conference with women, involved in game development. The event was joined by Laura Miller, Chief Director of Electronic Arts Studios. A level editor like The Forge, or like... How do you sort of take some of those ideas and apply them to like the franchises you have today? Yeah, oh, I love that question. Um, Battlefield is one of my favorite franchises that we have. I've been working on it for a really long time. And one of the best things about it is that it is about a sandbox. It is in, in the shooter space of all the games and all the shooters. It is a sandbox that DICE has always provided players with weapons and vehicles and destruction in the environment. And then these only these crazy only in battlefield moments happen. This emergent play comes from players, and so um, as you can imagine, um, the taking that strength and taking that superpower in this franchise and building on that in the future game is definitely part of our strategy. So new modes that are going to be added to the game experience are really in service of this um, th th this ability that we want to give players to have a bigger impact on their experience. At this stage, DICE is testing and improving the game on a daily basis, as well as preparing for the official announcement, which will take place soon. The main conflict will be the struggle between Russia and the United States. Users will become members of a special unit, and will be able to decide which state to support. As for the full-fledged announcement of the project, it can upset individual players. According to insider Tom Henderson, the first trailer will not show gameplay and multiplayer. The presentation will be similar to the debut show of Battlefield 5. So, let's wait for the debut announcement, and I say bye.